Today I want to talk about why you may or may not need filters for your drone. So I'm currently in Jamaica right at the moment shooting the second season to Secrets of the Underground. It's going to be fantastic. We're out in the field getting all these cool drone shots, diving and in the mountains and doing tunnels and I'm getting a lot of practice using the drone in different environments and I've actually been trying out these new filters from Sandmark. They are a great set of filters, 4, 8, 16 and polarizer that I'm putting on my Phantom 4. But here's the thing, I started looking up YouTube videos about using filters on the drone and everybody says you need to use them. You can't shoot without them and I have never used filters for the drone so I was always a little bit perplexed but I was excited to try it out. And most of these YouTube videos show amazing footage that's rich and colorful and if you don't have the filter then it's washed out and blown out because it's too bright. And I always thought why wouldn't DJI make these drones so that they would shoot in bright daylight well, I did a couple of runs. This particular run here is in Pennsylvania and I send up the drone uh, with the 16 and without it. And when I took it down, I couldn't tell any difference. So it made me step back just for a second and think about what I knew about ND filters. Now if you have a normal DSLR camera, most of the time you have three things that you can change. Your ISO, which you want to be as low as possible, so you want pretty bright light. You want to change your shutter speed to whatever you want to capture. Say if you're on a drone and you're shooting a photo, you know, you've got something jiggling around, you probably want a pretty crisp image, so you would want it to be fairly high, meaning you want it to be as bright as possible. And your aperture, which controls your depth of field, doesn't really matter so much in a drone because you're usually high and you're not going to get part of the image in focus and part of it not. And then I thought maybe this filter thing is a myth. Why would you even need filters for your drone? Because I can't seem to see a difference. And that is until I met John. John is the cameraman for this series and he explained it to me a little bit differently. He said you probably won't see a difference until you're shooting close to something. And then it clicked. Well of course, the reason you would put a filter on is if you wanted a more cinematic look. Filters decrease the amount of light coming into the camera and they will allow you to adjust down the shutter speed. And the only time you would probably want to adjust down the shutter speed is if you want a little bit of blur in your images. So like when I take my DSLR camera and I go out and I shoot time lapses, sometimes I'll want the people to blur in that. And if you're in the middle of the day, you can't get the blur unless you add the filter. Well the same thing kind of happens with the drone. Unfortunately, we don't want the image to be really blurry, just a little blurry. So as we're moving past images in the foreground, then you'll want to see a little bit of blur. It's very subtle, but I have a couple of images that I took here on this trip that I think show that fairly well. Now the first one is in a soccer field here in Jamaica, and I wanted to show something going by quickly in the foreground, so I just picked this fence. It's not a fantastically composed image, but I decided I would follow a couple of objects in the background as the fence was going by in the foreground. Notice here, without a filter, look what the fence does. Now if you pause it and you look at that fence, look how crisp the fence is. It would make for good screenshots. Maybe you want that. It's kind of the born identity look. And some people like that. But here's what happens when you take the shutter speed and you drop it down. And in this case, I had a 1 30th of a second shutter. Essentially, it's blurring that fence so much that if you pause it, you can hardly see it. So it's just a different look. I don't know which one you like better. Okay, let me show you another image I took, something that you might actually do. Here's a castle in Jamaica. So I wanted to fly right by this castle once with the filter and once without the filter. See if you can tell the difference. But overall, now I always shoot with filters. In particular, I almost always shoot with the 16. I like to get that motion blur. It's really cool. So that's just a quick overview of what I think about these filters for the DJI Phantom. Uh, these particular ones from Sandmark are pretty fantastic. They did send them to me to try out and I have no complaints. They screw on really nicely to the drone. But I am curious what you guys think. Have you tried these? Have you used them? Have you seen results? If you have, leave your comments down below. Oh, and I'm gonna start putting out videos more often because the second season here is wrapping up this week and I'm really excited to get back to YouTube because I've been gone since May 1st. I've literally only been home one week and it's it's very exhausting but I've learned a ton and I'm gonna share it with you guys soon. Talk to you later.